Hey guys! So I hope your day is bright and for today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm doing a one brand makeup look which is Happy Skin and at the same time, I will also be doing a haul. So I will show you my makeup, my Happy Skin makeup products and also how to do this makeup look. I'll show you what's in here. So first item that I see is my eyelash curler which is from Happy Skin. So it just looks like that. It's a rose gold color and then this one here, it's like a blue-green color. And the next product is this one. This is the Catch the Sun on the Go Hydrating UV Mist. So I, I kind of already used it a lot as you can see. Because, yeah, very needed in the Philippines. And then next, I will show you my lip products. So I have this Generation Happy Skin, Kiss and Bloom Water and Lip, Lip and Cheek Tint. So there. So I have the shade Brim and Serene. So I will swatch this too. So this one is Brim. So there. It's a bit more like brown brown shade yeah but then whenever I use it on my cheeks it actually looks pink so I guess it's like a reddish brown shade and then for serene it's a more pinky rosy shade that's why I use it more on my lips so there, that's how serene looks like and I could say that it really stains because look after I wiped it off you can still see brim and then serene so it really it really stays and then next I also have uh, more lip lip and cheek tints this is the kiss proof milky lip and cheek tint so there I have the shade Peach and Honeymoon Glow, so I'll swatch the other lip products later for you guys. And then I also have the Generation Happy Skin My Lips Look Better Ultra Matte Lippy. I also have another lippy. This is the Shut Up and Kiss Me Moisturizing Lippy in the shade Crushing On You. So there. And then it looks like this. It's it's very moisturizing, I could say. That's why the Happy Skin lipsticks are my favorite because it's very healthy for my lips also, especially for me who has very dry and chapped, cracked lips. It's very helpful. And the next product is brow product. This is also from the generation Happy Skin. This is the Perfect Brows Long Lasting Liquid Pen. So it just looks like that. It's hard to see because it's yellow yung packaging. Then it just looks like that. That's how the pen looks like. Next product that I see is this one. This is one of their new products, which is the Happy Skin uh, Disney Collection. So the, I have the shade Nap Queen, which can be used in the eyes, cheeks, and lips. So there, it looks like that. There. And then inside has a mirror, and then that's right up. And then I have this powder. This is also from the Generation Happy Skin. This is the Stay Fresh Weightless Pressed Powder in the shade Medium Beige. And then when you open it, there's a mirror here. This is the product which I've been using a lot, so I'm always I'm always going to hit pan. And then under that is the sponge. Next is the highlighter. Uh, this is the Yes I Drew, Yes I Drew Fresh Glow Highlight Pen. There, it just looks like that. And then I also have another highlighter pen, which is the Glisten Up Precision Highlighter Cheek Stick. So it looks like that. And then it looks like that inside really looks like a pen and then I also have this pretty clean instant makeup eraser so this is very easy to use as in 
like one if you have a little makeup mess one swipe it's already easy to remove but it's oil based so i suggest putting powder after using it and then i also have this i need a miracle corrector it's for correcting your dark under eyes but i didn't i didn't use it today because my I don't really have that much dark circles and my eye bags today aren't that bad. But usually, school days, I use this if I don't forget and if I have time. So there. And then next, I have two concealers. I have one Bye Bye Blues Brightening Concealer Wand, which I always use for my under eyes. And I also have this Zit Zapper Spot Concealer Blemish and Treatment concealer in one so there so this one it just looks like that there and then next there are two new products that i will try today so one is the mascara so this is the i am the one holy grail mascara so this is how it looks like this is the i am the one holy grail mascara this is a budge proof volume length and curl mascara so there i have this and then another new product is their ready to glow anti-e-aging liquid foundation so i am in the shade honey beige so there it looks like this so for my happy skin generation happy skin active line so it's all in this pouch what i have here is two of their lip tint so I have the shade Breathe and Focus. And then I will swatch it. There we go. So this is Breathe. And then Focus looks like this. There we go. They look pretty similar, but... Um, can I say? I guess Breathe is a bit lighter or I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I think the focus is more dark compared to Breathe. So there, that's two shades. This is a lightweight cheek stick. Thing. So for the swatch, it looks like this. So this is glowing there. And then this is flushed. They look very similar to me, but then this one is flushed as more pink. So there, as you can see. This makeup is the one that's perfect for working out or if you're the busy type of girl, if you're on the go all the time. This is the perfect makeup for you, so yeah. And then I have the Simply Defined Budge Proof Gel Eyeliner. So it looks like this. It's a gel eyeliner. So as you can see there, it looks like that. So we have that. And then I also have the eyeshadows. This is the Easy Eyes Crease Proof Eyeshadow Stick. So there. And my two shades are Fit and Flex. So let me swatch that. So this is Fit. This is actually the shade I use more because it looks more natural than me. So there, this is Flex, which is more brown and it's more dark compared to Fit. That's why I use Fit more because I like natural looks. So I always go for the lighter shades. Next, I have the two My Lips But Better Ultra Matte Lippy. So I have the shade Energy and Limitless. Swatch it again. Zira, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. Uh, this is ano energy. And this is limitless. Last two have the Love Your Lips Intense Color Butter Balm. So I have Free and Bliss. And then... So this is Bliss. The one, the, the one here. And 
and then I also have free which I think this is the one I use more because it looks this is the one that's lighter and it looks more natural so there that's free this is bliss this is free so there so basically yeah and lastly for my products I have this uh, also Happy Skin Disney collection. I have two of their Moisturizing Matte Lip Click Duo, the limited edition. So I have Jasmine and Belle. And then this is how it looks like. So, yeah. So now let's get on with the makeup tutorial. So, first thing I put uh, before makeup is always sunscreen. This is the uh, Catch. The Sun on the Go Hydrating UV Mist. So we just have to shake it first before using it. And then spray all over my face. And I also put some on my neck. And we just let that dry. Dry for a bit. So after sunscreen, I use foundation. Well, I don't always use foundation on an everyday basis, but then for now, this will be my base. So I'm using the Ready to Glow Anti-E-Aging Liquid Foundation. So this uh, foundation is protection from blue light shield. So basically, this is one of the new products. And this is foundation that would protect your skin from the light, the blue light of your gadgets. So yeah. So I just put a little at the back of my hand. Just have to pump it. This is my first time to use the product, so I'm very excited. Then I just dot that all over my face. Then I'll just use a sponge to blend it all out. I tried to I try to bring it down a bit so that my skin tone would look even. Next, I will use powder. So I'm using the Generation Happy Skin Stay Fresh Weightless Pressed Powder. And I'm in the shade Medium Beige. So this is the Happy Skin in collaboration with Catherine Bernardo uh, makeup line. And then I've actually been using it quite a lot as you can, as you can see. I'm almost about to hit pan. And then it also comes with the sponge but I usually prefer using a brush, so I'm just going to use a brush just to set my foundation. And what I like about this is that uh, it doesn't feel heavy on the face, so I don't think it's going to give that cakey effect when I apply powder because I'm just going to use it. Just, I will just use the powder to set my foundation, so yeah. I just put a little powder to set it and then next I will use concealer so now I have two concealers I have this bye bye blues brightening concealer wand which I use for my under eyes and then I also have this zit zapper spot concealer blemish treatment and concealer in one so I use this for my Pimples, which is I have here in my forehead and some here. I have some pimple marks here in my cheek. So yeah. So I will first do. I will first do the concealer for under my eyes. So 
after I put concealer under my eyes, I don't blend it right away because I wanted to set for a bit. So while I let that set, I put the concealer for my pimples or any imperfections I have. So basically, that's just on my forehead and a little on my cheek over here. And then after that, I just blend it all out. say that the happy skin concealers are one of the best that I've tried that's why it's basically the concealer I use daily and then after applying so after applying concealer I just apply some powder again to also set my concealer so I just put powder again on where I applied concealer so it's basically cheek forehead and around the eye. Mostly around the eye. So that's it will also set and it will stay. So that. And then after, usually after I put, after I do my base, which is the foundation, the powder, concealer, I would do my mascara. So what I have here is the I Am The One Holy Grail Mascara. This is also one of my new products that I will just try now. So it says here it has Japanese fiber, budge proof, volume, length, and curl. Hydrolyzed silk to protect and grow lashes. So I really like mascaras that are lengthening, so I'm very excited to try this. But before that, I have I will curl my lashes using the Happy Skin Eyelash Curler. Just curl my lashes first. And now I will apply the mascara. So the wand looks like this. And usually, this is the kind of wand that will really lengthen your lashes. Okay, so. Looks good so far. Even if it's just one swipe. So this is how my lashes look after applying the mascara. So you can really see that it really lengthened my lashes, lengthened and volumized my lashes. And then after, I will do my brows. So my only happy skin brow product is 
this one. Also the one in, co in collaboration with Catherine Bernardo. So this is the Generation Happy Skin Perfect Brows Long Lasting Liquid Pen. So basically I will just use it to fill in my brows because my brows are already thick enough. So usually when I do my brows, I just like filling it in. So I just use short strokes so that it will look natural. It's also very easy to use. I think for beginners, this is a good product. In doing your brows, you always have to remember that eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So they won't always look exactly the same. So next, I will put blush and eyeshadow. And what I have here is the Happy Skin Disney Collection. So I have Nap Queen. So this is a multi-use mousse makeup. So this is how it looks like. It's a pretty uh, pigmented blush and eyeshadow. So I always make sure I just apply a little. So I just get a little product by just tapping it like that. And then I put it on my cheeks. So as you can see, it's so pigmented. And that I even, I, or even if I only got little product that's how pigmented it is but i guess that's what really makes this product nice you don't need a lot for it to really show and if ever it becomes too much you can always just cover it up with powder or concealer So I will just apply that to the high points of my cheeks. I blend it with my fingers. So now I will try this one on the bridge of my nose. So it looks like this. It's like a brush. Then you have to click it for the product to come out. So there, the product already came out. Not sure it's not focusing. But yeah, there's a little product already that came out. So I'll just put that on the bridge of my nose. I think I place a bit too much, but it's okay, just make it work out. Last would be the lipstick or lip tint. So uh I have this one from the Generation Happy Skin. This is the My Lips But Better Ultra Matte Lippy in the shade Courage. 
So I'll just swatch it for you guys. So it looks like this. Usually I like using this lipstick when no makeup makeup days or when I just want a natural look for my lips. Next I also have this Shut Up and Kiss Me Moisturizing Lippy in the shade Crushing on You. So it looks like that. And then so it looks like this. I've used this a few times already. And the swatch looks like this. It's very close. Those two are very close colors. But this one is lighter. And then I have two lip, thin lip tints. The Kiss Proof Milky Lip and Cheek Tint. So I have in Honeymoon Glow and I have one in Peach. So this is Honeymoon Glow. It has like a pinkish color and then this one is peach this one is a very sweet color has a hint of orange you can see that so there and i also have the limited edition <laughs> this is okay i have the limited edition Moisturizing Matte Lip Click Duo. So I got the set that has Jasmine and Belle. So let me open the can. This is how it looks like. So I really love the packaging. So here it says, Embrace the Princess in You. And then this is the Jasmine one and this is the Belle one. So I will just swatch the Belle lipstick for you guys because I will be using Jasmine for today. So it's a lip click. It's like a pen, so you just click it once, or however, or depends on you actually how much product you need. But usually, I just do it once, twice, and three times sometimes. So, the swatch looks like this. So, now I will use the jasmine lipstick on my lips. So, just to show it to you guys, it looks like this. There, it's a more darker or it has more color compared to the bell. The bell is like more nude. So yeah, just put that on my lips. So there, as you can see, like I only needed one swipe for her to show on my lips. That's why I really like the lipstick. So there, this is my final makeup look. So this is what I would do on a regular basis. Like, I mean, this is also a good makeup look for an everyday makeup. So there. So hey guys, uh, I'm editing this vlog now and I realized that I didn't have an outro. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to always smile and spread the love. Bye!